the notion of human rights and the core principles of the rule of law discussed earlier are formally codified in basic laws or agreements at the national, international and regional levels. Let's first examine their codification at the national level. Most modern democracies have a constitution that establishes the fundamental principles according to which the state should be governed. A constitution, amongst other things, establishes the basic organs of the state and describes the division of power amongst them, regulates the political relationship of the state organs with the people of the country, recognizes there are certain rights that are inherent in a human being and guarantees that the state cannot take these rights away either by legislation or by executive action and establishes independent agencies to keep a check on arbitrary or excessive use of state power. Thus, the constitution sets up a system of checks and balances that can uphold the rule of law principles. Recognition, protection and promotion of human rights are woven into this constitutional scheme. Let's pause for a moment. Check the constitution of your country. Does it contain guarantees of fundamental rights? If yes, what are the rights that are guaranteed therein? After the end of World War II, different countries came together with the desire to set up an organization that would work to promote peace and prevent possibilities of future wars. As part of this process, the United Nations was established in 1945. On December 10, 1948, the United Nations adopted the Universal Declaration of Human Rights or the UDHR as the common standard of achievement for all peoples, all nations and every individual and organ of the society. The normative standards of the rights recognized in the UDHR were further developed into two separate international human rights treaties. The International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights or the ICCPR and the International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights or the ICESCR. The UDHR, ICCPR and ICESCR taken together are commonly referred to as the International Bill of Rights. Let's pause for a moment. Review the rights guaranteed in the International Bill of Rights. Compare the rights guaranteed in them with those guaranteed in the National Constitution. Are there some gaps between the two? Over the years, the United Nations has also adopted other international agreements to address specific issues of human rights concerns or problems faced by particular groups of people. These include Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Racial Discrimination, Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women, Convention Against Torture and Other Cruel, Inhuman or Degrading Treatment or Punishment, Convention on the Rights of the Child, International Convention on the Protection of Rights of All Migrant Workers and Members of Their Families, Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, and International Convention on the Protection of All Persons from Enforced Disappearances. Regions such as Europe, the Americas, Africa and Asia have also developed regional agreements on human rights. These are the European Convention on Human Rights adopted by the Council of Europe in 1950, the American Convention on Human Rights adopted by the Organization of American States in 1969, the African Charter on Human and People's Rights adopted by the Organization of African Unity in 1981, the Arab Charter on Human Rights adopted by the Council of the League of Arab States in 2004, and 
The ASEAN Human Rights Declaration, adopted by the Association of Southeast Asian Nations in 2012. Now, the question is, how do regional systems relate to the international human rights system? Member states of regional intergovernmental organizations such as the Council of Europe, the Organization of American States, the Organization of African Unity, the Council of the League of Arab States or the Arab League, and the Association of Southeast Asian Nations are also member states of the United Nations. Most of the member states of these regional organizations have also ratified or accepted the international human rights treaties and are under obligation to give effect to the rights guaranteed therein. Thus, the regional international human rights agreements also need to be in consonance with the fundamental principles prescribed in the international human rights treaties.